A man believed to be in his 20s drowned in the turbulent waters of Lake Michigan this afternoon. WGN's Shannon Halligan live at Promontory Point now where there was concern that another person may have been in trouble in the lake this evening. Shannon. Yeah, just in the last 30 minutes, uh, rescue crews rushed out to the beach here near 55th Street for the report of another person in the water. That has since been cleared. However, Chicago officials are worried that people will continue to go in the water despite repeated warnings not to. Out of the water, folks, please. Out of the water, it's very dangerous. Chicago Park District security urged people to get out of Lake Michigan. This just hours after a young man drowned near Promontory Point. We need to keep in mind, even on these hot days coming up over the weekend, that we need to take care of each other and stay out of the water as much as possible. The conditions out here are dangerous with all the rip currents. The Chicago Fire Department was called to the lakefront around 1 this afternoon when a swimmer went missing. Dive crews searched the choppy waters and found the man, but he did not survive. Despite the beach hazard warning and the recent drowning, people continued to swim nearby. I know it's a lot of rocks by the ledge over there, and that can be uh, dangerous or if the tide is strong. So uh, just hopefully, you know, they'll heed to warning and... Uh, you know, it's unfortunate what happened earlier today. Chicago beaches remain closed due to social distancing measures, so lifeguards are not out. And with higher temperatures on the way, people say they won't be surprised if the no swimming directive goes unnoticed. And I'm not really surprised. And it's pretty hot out here. A lot of people are tired of being inside, you know what I'm saying? Tired of just, you know what I'm saying, sitting in the house and playing video games and stuff. It's kind of depressing, so. And high waves and rip currents are expected over the next few days as well. Reporting live at Promontory Point, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.